Nepal is party to the Paris Agreement. So Nepal has already already prepared its uh, national action plan and uh, it also prepared uh, action plans at local levels. So we have um, implementing very seriously those nationals and local levels action plans. And further, we have committed to do more during this Sunni Climate Summit and uh, we will do um, and we will fulfill our commitment and in that regard uh, we are working to make our economy more uh, cleaner and we are transiting from one stage to another and our um, focus is on uh, clean energy sources uh, particularly in hydropower uh, that is our commitment we will increase uh, in our energy mix the share of uh, the hydropower and uh, solar and uh, other cleaner sources. And second is that we are also increasing the coverage, uh, forest coverage, and the quality of the forest uh, in our country. And we are trying our best to make less and less greenhouse gas emission. And our commitment is that we will make all our effort to make zero emission by. 2050. That's our commitment. Our appeal to the world leaders is that climate crisis is real and uh, Nepal is in the hottest spots of climate crisis. Being a mountainous country, Nepal has already felt uh, so many risks and uh, suffered from melting glaciers and uh, flash flood and uh, erratic uh, precipitation. These are you know, climate symptoms of climate crisis and we have been suffered uh, from those symptoms. So our appeal to world leaders is um, to renew the political will and to work in multilateral approach and work together and do more uh, and maintain uh, their commitment as per Paris Agreement and try everything possible and this is not only a crisis this is an opportunity from other side this is our one of the flagship initiatives uh, in in regard to uh, the climate change and climate crisis um, being conscious of what is happening in our country and uh, around our neighborhood uh, we want to bring the attention of the entire world, what is happening in Himalayas and what is happening in, you know, uh, around Hindu Kush Himalaya region. These are very vulnerable areas. And there is a recent report published by ECMOD that says even if we maintain 1.5 degrees Celsius, but that will you know, be higher than the uh, mountains because of the uh, elevation impact. So we will have to uh, bring all uh, efforts uh, from around the world to keep this uh, global warming uh, within 1.5 degrees Celsius. And our aim is to bring all stakeholders in one forum to initiate um, a global, a regional, and a multilateral approach uh, to save our, our uh, climate, to save our Mother Earth, and particularly in mountain areas, uh, we want to bring attention of the entire world. Uh, as a matter of fact, in Paris climate, there was no um, uh, mountain issues, and we are very much aware of the fact that uh, climate change adversely affects mountains so much, and mountain has to be uh, on the forefront of the climate change issues, climate crisis. So our the effort is to bring all the stakeholders uh, in one forum to talk about uh, climate crisis in the mountains. And we are very much confident that we will be, uh, be able to bring all uh, stakeholders in one, one platform to discuss about these uh, issues in the mountains. This Climate Action Summit uh, itself was a very historic event. Three main takeaways uh, can be explained here. One is that um, a renewed political will. After Paris Agreement, 
there was uh, some kind of uh, detractions, uh, some kind of uh, issues or some kind of debates whether this climate science is, uh, is real or not. So in that context, uh, political uh, you know, will is very important. So first, it's a renewed political commitment. Um, and second is that uh, it's a multi-stakeholder approach. The United Nations is one of the best places to exercise multilateral approach. So this is the right forum to have this kind of uh, global event. So that was uh, a very appropriate forum to bring all uh, member states and multilateral approach is working. So there's a second. And the third is that every country came up with um, more commitment than they have done in their uh, nationally determined contribution. But that is, I think, very important because this summit asked member states to come up more than what they have already committed. So most of the member states came up with more commitment and that was, I think, very important. We really um, value our partnership with UN agencies. Um, as a matter of fact, um, Nepal is a uh, major player in peacekeeping uh, areas. We respect the United Nations purpose and principles, and we really appreciate what the UN agencies have been doing in Nepal and even around the world. So we expect UN agencies to do more, particularly in development sector. And uh, in this context, you know, there is a SDGs. So we really want UN agencies to ramp up their efforts towards achieving of SDGs in Nepal, uh, particularly in poverty eradication uh, and uh, health related and education and climate issues. There are so many uh, issues or, um, or all are embraced in SDGs. So we really want UN agencies to come up to do their all in efforts in that uh, direction uh, so that we would be able to achieve SDGs on time and Nepal will uh, facilitate and extend its all possible cooperation to the UN agencies. So we want more and uh, we want fruitful partnership with uh, UN agencies in our country.